And now at 5.30, each day, twice a day, the Florida Health Department updates its website on the number of coronavirus cases in the state. There is a wealth of information on the site, which goes well beyond the numbers. CBS 4 Steve Goldstein is in the newsroom, and he continues our team coverage. Steve. Ruta Bay Elliott, you know, we continue to hear it's all about testing. Now, the number of tests available in the state has increased, and now at various locations throughout Florida, like Hard Rock Stadium, if you wait and you can get in, anyone can get tested, regardless of whether or not you're symptomatic. So the focus on testing as we go inside the numbers. So here we are at the website, and the focus here on tests. We see nearly 198,000 tests. In the state of Florida, vast majority of those, this is held steady. And right now at about 10.5% we are with the positive test. It's been between 10 and 11% throughout. Let's get into the counties. We start in Broward. More than 25,000 tests have now been administered. 12% positive in Broward. That's going to spike here as we go to Dade County. And we see... 41,065 tests, but look at the positive numbers in Dade, and this has been pretty consistent, right around 18%. And as of last check, we check in at 17.7% of those tested in Dade have tested positive. So what do the numbers mean? Well, Governor Ron DeSantis said today in South Florida, one of eight, every 85 residents has been tested. That's a ratio he called, quote, aggressive. Now, keep in mind, it takes some days to get the results of a test. So there are tests out there not counted right now in that total on the state website. They're awaiting results of an unknown number of tests right now as we speak. In the newsroom, Steve Goldstein, CBS 4 News. Steve, thank you. And if you have questions concerning the coronavirus, the state is manning a hotline that's open 24-7. That phone number is there on your screen. And there's also an email address you can send questions to. That is covid-19 at flhealth.gov.